welcome. In this episode, we are tearing down a PNY Accelerate NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. We will disassemble the cooler shroud, take off the metal backplate, clean the card, and reveal the PCB for a closer look. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. The Accelerate RTX 3080 has a reference design PCB and is manufactured by PNY. The teardown begins with removing the four screws surrounding the processor. These are unscrewed in a crisscross pattern to relieve tension as evenly as possible prior to fully taking out each of the screws. After that, there are 10 remaining Phillips head screws to remove, one by one. After that, we can lift the PCB away from the cooler shroud, making sure to first unplug two cables. They will come off. With that popped off, the PCB is exposed and ready to be cleaned. I typically use Noctua wipes in connection with isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips. Next, here is the bare PCB. The GA102 graphics processor is a large chip with more than 28 billion transistors. Using the GA102-200-KD-A1 variant, this 3080 has approximately 8700 shading units. The processor has 68 ray tracing acceleration cores and also 272 tensor cores, which help improve the speed of a machine learning applications. This RTX 3080 model has 10 gigabytes of GDDDR6X VRAM, video random access memory using a 320-bit memory connection interface. The GPU is operating at a base clock of 1440 MHz with a boost clock of 1710 MHz and a memory clock of 1188 MHz. Display outputs include one HDMI 2.1 port, and three DisplayPort 1.48 ports. The GeForce RTX 3080 is connected to the rest of the system using a PCI Express 4.0 by 16 interface. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos, including one dedicated to the studio that produces this content. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.